Hi guys, I'm Emma and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be kind of fun to kind of show you guys how generally I do my makeup every day. Now I am not a makeup expert whatsoever and I'm really terrible at knowing like what brushes I use or some of the products but I think it'll still give you an idea of kind of how I do my makeup every day. I guess let's just get into the video and I hope you guys enjoy this. So the first thing that I have been doing is taking concealer, this one's just by Sephora, and I will just put this pretty much only under my eyes and I'll sometimes do a tiny dot on either side of my nose like that and then I just blend that in with my fingers. Okay, generally after I do that, <clears throat> I will just go in with a much smaller brush, kind of like this. No idea what brush this is, by the way. Um, and then I have been using this for over a year now. It's this powder. And this is a really kind of full coverage powder. So what I tend to do after I put my concealer on is I'll take this little brush and I'll just put it in this powder and that's kind of how I'll cover up any little marks or redness that I might have on my chin especially but anywhere really so yeah I just cover anything that I want to or feel like I should Okay, so once I've done that and kind of covered everything, any spots that I feel need to be covered, I will normally just set my face and my under eyes with Laura Mercier. I don't really use a foundation really, I just use concealer and then a powder just to kind of cover up what I feel like needs to be covered up. So now I'm just going to go in. And just set my face. Okay, once I have set my whole face, I'm pretty big on like setting my makeup as you'll continue to find out <laughs> throughout this video. Um, Next, I am going to do eyebrows. So for my eyebrows, I normally will just use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And first, I will just comb my eyebrows kind of up. Oops, we're not focused. We're still not. Oh, there we go. Jeez. So I will just kind of comb them, <clears throat> comb them up. And then I just kind of go through and fill in anything that I think is sparse. So like a little bit towards the back of my eyebrows generally. And then I will take it to the front with just kind of little strokes. Once I have pulled them in, I just brush them out quite a bit, just to make it look as natural as I can. That looks good to me. After I've done that, I just take Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and I just 
comb them out and set them into place. Now eyebrows are done. Next, what I will typically do is move on to just a little bit of bronzer. So I'm using the Too Faced, I think, chocolate something. And I'll just take a kind of more fluffy brush like this and just swivel it in there. And just kind of gently it on my face I will take it a little bit under my chin just because tiny weeny bit on forehead even though I don't really feel like I need to do that, I just think it kind of brings it together more if it's kind of all around. And then what I will do sometimes is just take the brush, this is super just, I'll just squish the brush like that and just lightly kind of go down on each side of my nose and then on the tip. So you can see that, <laughs> and then I'll just blend everything that I did out so it doesn't look crazy. So once that step is done, I will go into blush. I've been using just this blush from Sephora for a while and it's in the shade Love at First Sight. How sweet. <laughs> um, and for this, I just, this probably isn't the right brush I should use, but I just take this, it's a pretty kind of dense little brush. It's very pink as you can see. And I like to go pretty ham with blush I just like how it looks so I'll generally put quite a bit of blush on I just like it and I'll also take it a little bit on my nose because if you had natural blush it would be on your nose as well and then also blend that out a little bit if I do too much okay Next, I suppose now we'll just go into eyes and the only thing I generally on an everyday basis do for my eyes is I will curl my eyelashes. So let's do that. Curling my eyelashes is an incredibly important step for me. That is one of the things that I always have to do because I think it makes such a huge difference like look at this eye and that eye like I just think it it makes a huge difference I know a ton of people don't really curl their eyelashes and I'm telling you it if your eyelashes curl really well some people's don't but it can make a huge difference so I just like to curl them a couple times honestly just to really get it after I've curled them so on an everyday basis I normally don't use any mascara um, I just recently started using mascara occasionally if I go out or have, you know, somewhere to go that's exciting or anything like that, but generally I never really wear any mascara. I just, for the longest time, I, I hated how it would kind of blur 
darkness under my eyes and things like that and I, I just never really wanted to. So what I always do is I will take either Aquaphor or this is just Vaseline and I put that on my eyelashes. I think this does a really great job of it just kind of it makes your eyelashes stand out a little bit without being obviously too crazy and I just think if you don't really feel like putting a lot of makeup on but you still want your eyelashes to look nice this is a really great thing to do I've been doing it for years this um, but like as you can see I've just put a little bit on and look at how much these eyelashes just kind of stand out it kind of gives a almost wet effect because you're putting this on and it it just looks really nice and also I mean you're constantly moisturizing your eyelashes because you're putting aquaphor Vaseline you can really use whatever kind of clear chapstick you might have just avoid anything minty because I made that mistake once and it was not fun <laughs> I'll just do this to the other eye And here are my eyelashes all chapsticked up and then just because I don't know why I like to I'll normally take an eyelash curler one more time afterwards and just curl them one last time after I've done that and there we go so typically that's pretty much all I'll do for my eyes on just an everyday basis, just, you know, get those eyelashes looking nice, and that's kind of it. Um, next, let's see, I suppose I will do just a little bit of highlighter. I don't do this every day, but some days if I'm feeling like it. I have no idea where I got this highlighter, and I'm pretty sure it was about $6, but it's kind of a white glowy color and it's very pretty so I'll take a little bit of this and I'll just put that with my finger of course just on see how pretty I'll just put it on the top of my cheekbones and kind of take it up a little bit this is just a really pretty kind of white crystally highlighter if I feel like it, I'll also put a little bit just kind of under my brow bone. And I will also just take my like ring finger or something and put a tiny bit right on the tip of my nose and just going down my bridge. A little bit. Wow. Yeah. This stuff a little goes a long way, as you can tell. I might blend a tiny bit of that out. <laughs> then I'll put a tiny bit on my Cupid's bow. Okay, well that's that. Yeah, I, I can't remember, I have no idea. I'm pretty sure I got this at like a clothing shop or something. Um, I'm just gonna kind of brush over it, just to make sure it's not too crazy and then this is probably going to sound like the weirdest thing that I do but I really like setting my face and I like it to look quite kind of matte and smooth and so one thing I started doing again at least about two years ago now is I will take baby powder regular baby powder and I will set my face after I'm totally done with all my makeup with this. Now, I just think, obviously it's a drying powder and so it definitely gives you that kind of matte finish but I also think it makes your skin just look really kind of smooth and I genuinely think if you blend it in enough I do think any skin tone could honestly use this and I just I just really like it a lot so I just will put some on my hand 
like so. Just take my big brush again and just take this, put it on my chin. Kind of just anywhere. And yeah, I just think it gives like such a smoothing effect around the skin. I love it and this, even sometimes if I'm not wearing makeup but I want my skin to just look slightly smoother or more matte, I'll just literally dab a little on my fingers and just put it on my face. And yeah, I've been doing that for so long. I also will use this as dry shampoo. Baby powder is a good friend. <laughs> and then okay I suppose the last thing that I will do is something for the lips this kind of does vary on a daily basis but generally I'll just take a kind of tinted lip balm or a little lipstick anything that's kind of around me today this was right here so I'll just use this this is a Clinique lipstick it's in the shade tender hot um yeah this is just a kind of pretty browny mauve shade and i'll just take a little bit in the like center like so and then normally i will top it off again with some chapstick This is my everyday makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it probably wasn't the best makeup tutorial, but hopefully as I do them more, I will get better at it. This was my first one. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this. And if you did enjoy it, I would love it if you would subscribe and like the video. And I suppose I will see you next time. Thank you so much.